1988, you actually fought Mike Tyson. Um, mm -hmm. And coincidentally, you were the only one to stop Ali, and then Mike was the only one to stop you, which was uh, yeah. as a weird thing. I mean, talk us, talk us through that fight. Well, you know, when I was starting to fight Mike Tyson, I was off for two years. I didn't, I didn't box. I didn't do nothing for two years. I just sit back and watch fights on TV, <clears throat> and I worked out. That's all I did. I didn't fight nobody. I didn't hit nobody. Nobody hit me. And the Don King came up and said, here's $2 million, man. I want you to fight Mike Tyson. I said, for $2 million? He said, no, $3 million, I said. Don, I can't beat Mike Tyson. Yeah. I'm old now. I can't fight. I can't fight now. I retired. But here's two million dollars, man. Here's two so, so what I'm what I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? You'd be I'm a bit silly, go. wouldn't you, not to, yeah. to take that? Yeah. Yeah. So I took the money, man. 19, you know? In nineteen eighty eight as well, Larry. That's a, that's a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. I was I was one. <laughs> <laughs> I was one years old at this stage. That, that that's amazing. Yeah. I could have gave you the money. <laughs> <You'd have been laughs> any day, any day, any day. So you fought, you know, the biggest punchers, really, in my opinion, ever to walk the planet pretty much. Um, Ernie Shavers, as I actually rate as the biggest puncher in heavyweight history. Um, I don't know if you agree with that, but that's the question I'm going to ask you in a minute. You yeah. fought Mike Tyson, you fought Ken Norton, you fought some... You know some big, big punches and some you know damaging punches. Of all the people you fought, who was the biggest puncher? Who was the most damaging puncher? Ernie Shavers was the biggest puncher that I ever fought. He hit me, said good night, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. a shot that he hit you with. I think it was a right hand. If I can't remember, if I remember rightly, yeah. And you you went down pretty badly. And I, um, I haven't wrote this down. How I did you recover from that, Larry? I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to stay down. If I get up, I'm going to get some more. I don't want no more. You know, but I got up and I ran and I ran from him. And, I, and when he got real close to throw the puncher, I hugged him and I kissed him and everything. I didn't No, I'm not going to take no more punches. Dog. Hey, I'm going to hold you. So every time he got to hit me with that right hand he had, I put my arms around him and held him. <laughs> it's gonna be like this all night. <laughs> I'm not. To be honest, I'm not surprised, Larry. I mean, is that guy is literally yeah. for me the the biggest heavyweight puncher of all yeah. time. I, 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 and that's my personal thoughts. You know. Um, now, you know what? Let me tell ahead. you this real quick. Muhammad Ali for Ernie Shavers. Yep. Ali was okay until he fought Ernie Shavers. And when I, Ernie started hitting him upside the head, Ali went a little bit like that. And that's what happened to Ali. And I blame my Ernie Shavers. I blame my Ernie Shavers for it. I shouldn't, but I, I do anyway. I said, if you didn't hit him like that, he wouldn't have been walking around acting, you know, going punchy a little bit. You know what I mean? Right. That's so you, I, you, you pretty much, so the Parkinson's and everything that happened there, you think was... From maybe the damage that happened from Ernie Shavers. Yeah. That's interesting. Sure. 